games and in how many games? First finals trilogy and first finals rubber match. You can have a trilogy and one team won the first two, but they split the first two. Yes. I like the Warriors to win the championship this year. I like them to do it in under seven games. If I was just merely analyzing the teams without, you know, the LeBron James kind of X factor or it factor, I'd take the Warriors in five. But I think LeBron can get him to a game six. I think that's about it. And I like the Warriors to close out the Cavs in Cleveland in game six. <sighs> well, first things first, let's put stuff out on Front Street. <laughs> okay. For the public out there, don't listen to me. Okay, I've been wrong like the last six damn years. I get emotional during the NBA Finals because I kind of get a rooting interest. Like this year, I want LeBron to win. I want him to win bad, believe it or not. I really, really want him and the Cleveland Cavaliers to win. But bottom line is I've been wrong. Wrong against Dallas because I didn't think that LeBron would choke in the fourth quarter. Wrong, in a, you know, when uh, they, 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 the Cavs lost two years ago because I didn't think Kyrie Irving would get hurt in game one. Wrong last year because I didn't think Draymond would get suspended in game one. Five. But that's neither here nor there. At the end of the day, Max, I am very inclined to believe in you, but to believe and side with you about the six games. However, because it's LeBron and because it's the finals and the trilogy that we've all been waiting for, I'm going to put my wishful thinking cap on and tell you it's a game seven again between the Cavs and the Warriors back at the Oracle. And I am predicting that the Golden State Warriors will hold on and knock off the Cleveland Cavaliers in a game seven. I'm quite sure LeBron and them are very, very happy because every time I pick against them, he wins. But that's where I'm going. I'm going with the Warriors to win this in seven games. Max, you want to change your pick now? You know what, Molly? I just realized. <laughs> yeah. Molly, I just realized. Yeah. The, the NBA Finals are like... The Max Kellerman of Stephen mm, A's prediction. A lot of L's? He can't oh, win. <laughs> a lot of L's. Hey, I, Max, hey, are you going to change you, you your know pick? What, you know You're what, okay Max? to stay with it? I, I, I always got them right until they had my behind stuck in studio. You understand? It got me away from those players. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm stuck know. in studio all the time. If I was out, if I, if I was on the scene all the time, yeah. it would be a little bit different covering them during the regular yeah, season. Yeah, but that's you know what else it no tells day. you? That's you know what else it tells you? <laughs> we've had some great finals matchups in recent years. It yeah. also tells you that. In recent years, we've gotten to this Clash of the Titans finals. Never quite like this, but we've had some great matchups where the outcome was in doubt. All right. I'm glad we, ha we have them on the record. We have the tape. So let's keep it moving, gentlemen. By the way, I'm going Warriors in five. Westgate's Las Vegas Superbook has released the odds to win the finals MVP. Steph Curry and Kevin Durant have the best odds at 9-5, to five, followed by LeBron James. Stephen A., who do you think is going to win this year's finals MVP? This is, this is a tough one. I'm rolling. It's not tough for me. I'm rolling okay. with Kevin Durant. I think Kevin Durant is going to be the NBA Finals MVP. Why? Because he had damn well better be in order to be recognized as a champion. You don't get to ride the gravy train. They were 73 and 9 without you. They were the Western Conference champions two times over without you. They got a two time league MVP in Steph Curry, who was that way before you ever arrived. They didn't necessarily need you. As far as I'm concerned, they win the title if Draymond Green doesn't get suspended for that game. So as far as I'm concerned, if you're Kevin Durant, you have to show up, especially since the likelihood is that LeBron James is going to be the only one capable of defending you. You got to show up. You're already averaging 29 points per game against the man. If you remember back five years ago, Max, when Kevin Durant was a puppy, 23 years of age, he dropped 36, 32, 25, 28, and like another 32 in the NBA Finals, shooting better than 50% from the field in every game except one where he shot nearly 48%. This dude is a scoring sensation extraordinaire. He is 6'11 with a 7'6 wingspan. He can pull up from 30. He can handle the rock. He can rebound and take it coast to coast. He can defend. There is no excuses. This this man, this man has all the requisite skills to be the, the NBA Finals MVP, and he had damn well better be if we are to recognize him as a champion. I think he shows up. I think he handles his business, and I think he's the reason, ultimately, that the Warriors are crowned champions in about two weeks. 
Look, I think Steph Curry is the most important player on the team. I don't expect Klay Thompson to be cold all throughout the playoffs, basically, and that will include the finals. I just don't expect it. But I do agree Kevin Durant's going to be the MVP of the series huh. because the voters don't seem to have the guts to make the MVP from the losing team. I mean, if they had any guts at all, they would have given the MVP to LeBron James two years ago when he was clearly and by so much better than almost anyone who'd ever played in any finals, let alone anyone from the winning team that year, that it was absurd to give that MVP, as good as Iguodala was, to Iguodala over LeBron, and yet they did it. So that shows you winners, MVP is always going to come from the winning team. Uh, in, in modern basketball, almost always has anyway. Maybe he did Wilt get it one time on the losing team. Um, maybe I'm Jerry with you, West though, Max. did. It was it Jerry shouldn't. West, I believe, who got it once on the on the losing team. Right. But 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 it's Jerry gonna come West from the did. winning team. I believe the Warriors are gonna win. So then the question is, who's it gonna be? Mm -hmm. Durant's gonna have big numbers, they're gonna give it to him because the media is gonna have that desire to do it anyway to get that monkey off his back. Durant is the finals MVP because he puts up numbers for the winning team.